Hello everyone, I'm Timoteo. And I'm George. And, and we are Vintage Doll Hunters. On this channel, we will be discussing and reviewing what we found on our latest Vintage Doll Hunt. Sharing with you our opinions and our knowledge. We provide you, the audience, quality information based on our seven years, almost eight, of collecting experience, either from the homes of others or and from our own collection. So join us as we reveal what we found today. Let's get started, guys. All right, so this past week and a half has been very busy with us. We were part of the Roe Bear National Doll Festival, and we also went to go do some hunting at the Barbie convention hunting. and the UFDC uh, doll um show so we went there uh we found lots of awesome stuff and we want to show them to you guys today and also remember at the end of this video we're going to be showing you special clips from my instagram story of all this fantastic stuff we ran into that we want to show you guys and hopefully we will share with you in the future this yes is like we met so many nice people there was awesome uh, collectors out there they have beautiful collections but we're gonna show you what we found as far as what we purchased. Yes. <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot of Barbie stuff, but hey, stick with us. We're gonna have more stuff to show. So the first thing we wanna show you is this beautiful Barbie house. Yes. And it was the world of Barbie. Oh, she came out in 1966. Wow, check that out. It's and like a house. It, it is a house, that's what it is, a Barbie house. And with this one, it shows you the new Francie, the Casey, the twist and turn Barbie. Back in the day, they wanted you to trade in them. Oh, and sorry, Skipper as well, and Tootie. Tootie Tootie. Yes. And it was lovely the way they like had this little locking mechanism that you can open up. And let me just show you how it just, folds out Magic. into a huge dollhouse and wow. has these little plus accessories. But there's one thing I want you to watch with these accessories. It has melt marks on the side and the reason why it has melt marks is because either the doll's legs were probably close to this and, and the, I, like I was saying, the, the compound of the plastics, when they sit together for a long time, they for some reason begin a melting uh, problem. Yeah, because it wasn't like that. I mean, it's not like the greatest and dense quality so yes. they be very Because remember these it. were little kids toys but uh, for, you know but fortunately for us you know they become a collector's item and this is this is preserved very well i'm uh, just to add this is this isn't we got great a great condition. deal on this great one. condition yes it has the bed still usually the beds have cracks in them or they're broken off but this one is well put together so it's it's a bedroom and the living area yes like the living room area so it's it, you know it's a fun little play set for barbie to sit in with her and it was like i said this was a bendable area and, and area in 1966 where the dolls were able to bend so they would be able to sit down have a little comforting area to sit and chill in. I think it has a little record player, or is that another one? No. But, yeah. the, you know, I think this set is uh, this basically one. complete. Yeah. And it has a little, you know, area for the clothing to hang. So this was a very functional place for you to play with in Barbie. And it was a tote around uh, toy where you were able to take it to your little friend's house and everyone was able to play with it and have a good time and you know continue on with the barbie uh fun fashions can you pull that up george for me and then like i said we just fold up all the little furniture just go in there and it was just a little fun place for you to fine. play with you lock it up and you carry it on its way let me show you there's a little mechanism and you would just carry her you just like take it on my barbie and let's look at another fashion. All right, guys. Found. This next one is the uh, is the Francie house case. Don't pull it by its handle. Sorry, I did not mean to do yeah, that. You gotta be I careful. You gotta be careful. That. Do not hold them by the can by the handles because they are fragile. Try to you know just grab them from the sides. But yeah. yeah, this is a Francie house case. I guess it's a sort of a similar concept with the other house we just saw. Of course, is this Francie's house, and her house is a lot bigger than the other one, which is kind of neat. Well, you know, you know anyways, Francie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it came with a nice little like clip area Ooh, but I hear stuff it, it in there. fall down oh wow look at that you got some chairs right here oh and unfortunately the, the house used to be connected to this but over the years it just gave way and but it still falls back in this little area wow look at that so you got some stands these are the stands that the, that the with twist the and turn, with the bendables like the twist and turn those are the new stands here. no longer wire stands can then like kind of like these ones and this one 
Yeah. That's a skipper. This is a little frenzy. And holder. be careful with the stands too. They 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 tend to get fragile over time and they snap. So don't try to force them or bend them. They or bend. I tried to bend one earlier and I broke it. Oh darn. So so this set. Look at that. It comes with the counter. Oh, the phonograph, which is a, basically a record player right here with a little record on it. The, but we are missing a little round, uh, was it a pink chair, George? Oh, yes, a pink chair. And it it's a loose sit, one. And it would sit here, and it was like one of those round, almost like egg-shaped, uh, like chairs. Mod. Yeah, mod era. Mod those furniture. Those, like, nice little And then also the little fun, table. Yeah, the table had a little the, lamp on top. But you but got it's these, okay. But you, you got know, these chairs like these right here, which is things. good. You got the chair. You and got you know what? And with the state-of-the-art typewriter. Yes, this was a computer back in those days. Days. You used to be able to type and you know cling you know I have to change the ribbon out but it's actually in the set and ready to go she has guitar because this is the mod era it's when it was like hippies right? where yeah it was the 1966 like, six, six, six era so let's go ahead and put this one away and let's show you some more stuff Always be careful found. you guys and then we're going to carefully clip it and grab and it by it its to the side the side try not to grab the handle because they tend to have a tendency of breaking and snapping so next next thing we want to bring out to you guys is a very fun piece this one is called the Room to Room Barbie Shells, and it's metal. As you can hear, I don't know if you can hear the, sh the echoing of the metal, but as you see right here, this is a clothing rack right here. This is a shop uh, right here at the bottom. It says Barbie and Mitch. This was sort of like a boutique. You'd set up Barbie and Mitch and it'd be shopping. The background right here shows like the, all the clothing, the accessories that you can shop for. And, and then, they, what's that? And with, and with that. The, well, this is the instruction manual because this came disassembled in a box. So you would have to put it together yourself. So it basically had little screws and little ties that it should get instructions uh, of how to put this together. And there were three different sets yes. that actually came with this uh, with this uh, uh, set. different kind of stuff. And we, we thought it was awesome to bring it out. And they also had a three-story yeah. tier they had, they that had, came out they, from the floor to the ceiling, they called it. Yeah, so they had the, it was like a pink tier. The top one was for all three of them. It was actually like a bedroom kind of background. It was for um, Ken, Barbie, and Mitch. The second one was a green one, which is just for Barbie and Ken's wardrobe. And then his bottom one is just for the girls. Just for, for the girls. For Midge and Barbie. So yeah, this is really neat. I think this is awesome. It's a very nice display to put up in your home. And and what we found when we were looking for this is just particular pieces that I wanted to pick up for my collection. This is called the Shopping Spree. Huh. This goes to Francie. Wow. She also comes with a lovely coat. I don't know if it's like a tweed coat. Yeah, it is. And, and, they, and they have these beautiful buttons that won't snap perfectly. But yeah. It, Careful, it, guys. Use your nails, if anything, to yeah, kind of pry. I try to grow them out. Yeah. But they also came with a little uh, dress wow. inside. So it was a coat and dress. It was a beautiful like purse that. that went with it and shoes. And look at that. And, and that's what it was for. You hang them on this little display so you can have a good time. And that's then really the, cute. Like the that Mini one. Marvelous, which came out in 1969. She's missing her hat oh. and her leggings, but it's a beautiful little outfit. I thought this was a reasonable price. That's why I picked it up. And it was very, like I said, very hard to find. I probably need to you know, wash it a little bit. And I'm probably will show you how to look at wash how pretty it is. Look at that. Yes, and you gotta be careful because this for some reason tends to bleed. The some of the fabrics they use bleed, so you gotta keep them separated. Separate. We put them together just because we wanted to show you, but make sure you keep these little outfits separated. Yeah, sometimes then, sometimes storing them like in ziplocs and things like that sometimes helps. And then lot. this is called the growing pretty hair. Uh, Barbie ah. wore this. She actually wore this in her package. The Barbie came with little accessory hair pieces that you were able to put on Barbie, but this was a standard dress that was, it is, you know, Barbie labeled. Um, and it, that's what I love about these old fashions with Barbie is they labeled all of them with a Barbie tag in them. And this is another one little outfit you can put on here and Perfect. be very beautiful and successful. And then another cute one that I found was called the Cloud Nine outfit. Ah, this is a two-piece two outfit. Um, she had her little undergarment, and what's cute about this is they, st they this it wasn't a snap; it was actually a hook. So they had a hook on here where they were had a little uh, thread loop where you would click it on or you know. Stick it together. Usually, and, usually more delicate kind, yes. of, kind of procedures of how to... And that's how you can tell these are really yeah. more older um, outfits only because of those pieces. Usually they went to snaps after that, but this was one of those when it was a hook 
and uh, you know what do you call that? A hook and a, a hook catch. A hook catch, I guess. We'll call and then, it. oh, I love the sleeves on that one. Those are pretty poofy sleeves. And, and, and it was a fun find, you know. And it came with little shoes, which were gorgeous. Oh, I mean, wow. where do you find things those. like this? They got the tool, like the same material that's made out of the, very, the top layer of the sleeves. Wow. Very like delicately made, you know, to fit Barbie's little those beautiful shoes. It's not the yeah. high heel like look to it and it, it was such a nice find i'm missing the panties but hey we'll find that some probably sometime later let's go ahead and remove oh, this god, george the wig well oh sorry we found a wig and these were for probably the uh what is that called the um fashion queen fashion queen doll fashion queen and, but i think this is more of the fashion queen midge doll which we will be yeah. showing soon. Yeah, that's and, right. And, and these little, like, the hairstyles down to the uh, the stitching Tight on the curl, top, yeah. where you see the part in the middle. That was very detailed for Mattel, what they did. And it was very sophisticated look. Probably just need to probably just reset the hair, you know, do a little love and combing in it. But it's going to be a beautiful piece it to add to our collection. Of, yeah. And these little, you know, said this little thing came with a backdrop. I mean, it was beautiful to have, and you can move these around room to room. I think that was the the slogan they used. Yeah, because room to room. You could just move all these things and have a fun time playing with this stuff. I mean, I am. <laughs> Next, George. All right, about let's go to table. Found. Here, let me... found so much fun stuff. Let me grab it right here. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, uh, funny, George. All right. Next. All right. Next, oh next, we have something that um, was awesome because this was a new version that came out and it was a new friend, they came out in 1968 and her name was Stacy. She was part of the twist and oh. turn era. Let me pull her out of her plastic. What? Of course she had um, the, the box that came to her so this I had box. to get her. But let's box. pull her out of her seclusion box and bag. And the way she came was in this little box. They had her standing perfectly um, next to her stand. And this was a new stand. These, oh, I don't have the new stand. Well, Georgia showed it, but it's a little plastic stand. They got away from the the metal uh, the stand, stand. The, the wire stands, and they started using these little uh, plastic stands because the doll was able to stand in them, and you were able to just sit them in there, and they would be aligned perfectly she's gorgeous new stacy they as it's labeled on the box barbie's new friend the yeah. twist and turn waist bendable legs she and real twist, eyelashes yes she twists and turn real eyelashes beautiful blonde hair she only came in blonde and titan at the time this is a, this is a rare doll and she's a little uh she has the little swimsuit with the buttons to finish up her touch she has a little ribbon in the back that's still set she has a curls in the front, little side curls. All the manufacturer details. Yes, yeah. all of that. So, you know, I had to take pristine, her home with me. Pristine, pristine condition. Wow, this is an amazing, amazing find. Amazing and, hunt. Yes. yes, and they would they would put like a little, you know, cellophane, little plastic around it to tighten it up. Kind of like those old DVDs, you remember when they used to shrink wrap them. It was exactly the same what they did with and, these dolls. And the box is in great condition too. Wow. It's it's lovely. It was a beautiful find to have this yeah, little doll. Put it part, oh, mm -hmm. part of our collection. I'm going to lay her down. <laughs> <laughs> because she almost jumped ship, so we'll put her right here. Let's and we, and I want to show you one more doll. We we talked about the Midge, and we um sorry was it Midge? Yes, Midge. Yes, Midge. Oh, fashion, fashion show we had, had right? Yeah, I can't remember. The whole fashion uh, show with Midge, and we also showed you the rare Midge with the box with the band. But we found her yes. in this convention finds. I mean. She was awesome, and not only that we found her and she was part of a convention, she was also part of a doll museum. In Washington, she said. So be, she yeah. had her own plaques that actually were sold with her that let us know a little bit of information about the Midge doll. But let me, let me not pull you guys or like stress you guys too long, but here we are with the Midge with the blue band box. This Bam. is a very rare box. And they the, did not have And this is much. such a good condition because it was in a museum. You could tell it's well preserved. Oh my God, it's like so clean. We should have wore gloves to touch this. I like, know. That much, right? Yes. I'm just saying. But we're so excited you forget. <laughs> but it is in pristine condition like George said. I mean, it doesn't even seem like anyone played with the box except for us and the person who actually owned it. Blue band. So when you open it, this was actually the first midge that had straight eyes. 
where she was looking directly at you instead of the side, you know, right version of them. Sometimes they had the googly eye version, which that was one straight eye and one eye to the side. But this isn't her. And the teeth. This, oh, the teeth. Also. This is well. This is the one with the teeth. She actually has teeth. She painted her. They painted the teeth on, and her hair is just a little more softer than that coarse Mitch hair with the first version. And it's curled up particular, where it's like all like curled up front it has a unique like I don't even know what to call it's, it. It's like style. a whole different hairstyle. Style yeah. with this doll. I mean, they really played a lot of details to make it just a little different. And she, the wristband? She come, Well, she comes with her original packing, with her shoes. This was actually came her. It's still sealed and well preserved. And also, like George said, they also have the tag on her still. So she hasn't been played with at all. So they just basically left her exactly the way she looked. She, has she hasn't a, been removed. She, so has, a, removed she has the original inserts in her. A little bit of her of her lipstick is gone. I'm not sure if it was probably the lighting from being in the museum. Maybe it was for a so boxing rubbing up. Or yeah. yeah, like George said, the, so everything is still formed to her body. The elastic work. She kind hasn't of, been removed. We want to leave her box. exactly the same. And this is the kind of stuff where we say if, if it's original there, then just keep her the way it is because it's very well preserved. And the doll, part, you have dolls that are, are ready to play with, so just play with. And, those the, and the owner of this doll actually, they, it was her doll she bought when she was little and. I, I said, oh my God, good for you for preserving this doll. I don't even want to like use the box in that way. So let's cover her back let's up. Let's cover back up. Let's suffocate her for another 20 years or so. <laughs> but yeah, this was a really neat collection of dolls that she had. I only could get the Minch doll, but I'm hoping to get the rest of her dolls because like I said, they were very well preserved. Yeah, so next, let me show you this stuff. It wasn't necessarily vintage, but stuff we, uh, we got at the doll show. This is a doll that... I purchased this really cool, uh, she's a newer doll, she's a uh, Jan McLean doll. She's really statuesque, porcelain, I mean, I, I know the person who designed these dolls does not design them anymore, so, and I got a steal for this one, and she's really awesome, I can't wait to make her some new outfits, she's gorgeous. Yeah, she's just well. She's in and, and and she is missing her umbrella. She should have an umbrella. And I and I believe these were what you called her is a lollipop doll. Oh the yeah, no, the, the, no, well. no, yeah, the designer. He, the smaller form of uh, versions of this were the lollipop dolls. Because the if, you know if you pull look at the picture of the lollipop doll, she has the long arms, the long legs. I mean, it's like in the face is exactly the same. Yeah, and if, even if it's not vintage, we just wanted to share it because it, it was, was from the finds. from our finds. Yes. And then one last one. So let's here, let's pull this one back. Okay. Oh, no. Be careful, don't want her to fall, your midge. Don't you want to lay her down? No? Okay, here we go. Then the next, last one next, here. Next. I got lucky, so when we went to the UFDC convention, I, I won the raffle, and I got a free Barbie. This and is, I paid his way this, in. This, this is uh, 2006. <laughs> this is 2006. So um, this is a 2006 Barbie, a Bob Mackie holiday Barbie. It's really nice. It was really awesome. I was really excited. Again, it's not vintage, but it was a part of our finds or, yes. or something that was gifted to us uh, being there. So we have lots of fun. Um, and thank you guys for, I mean, you don't understand. These doll collectors and these people that we met just in this week have been so nice. I mean, these collectors love their dolls, down to calling them babies, which eventually I'm probably going to start calling my dolls babies as well. But that's how much these people take care of these dolls and how much of a great quality uh, these dolls are to inherit and to take care of and just keep them alive to generations of generations. Right, George? Uh-huh. So, you know what? As far as what we have, that wraps up this video. All right, guys. Remember to stay tuned at the end of this video because I'm going to plug in some clips from my Instagram story of all this fun stuff that I saw, plus more throughout this last week and a half. But, okay, guys. Remember, if you have any vintage dolls, up in your attic, down in your basement, or up in your closet, be sure to contact us and let us know because if you'd like to have them featured in our next potential video, we can and we can help you all getting your stuff displayed out to the world and potentially, you never know, sell something, right? Yeah. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for our support. Please continue to like and subscribe. All our uh, contact information for our Instagrams, our Facebooks, and Etsy and Ebays will be in the description below. Again, stick around. Yeah, don't thank forget you. to subscribe thank you. and thank like. You. Thank you. Bye, have Bye, a nice guys. day. Hey guys, we're at another doll show right here. It's a cute little vintage Raggedy Ann. She's, yes, 350. The original Annabelle. Yes. <laughs> I love her. She's beautiful. 
a Barbie hat box, but I think it's more modern. And there's a tag in inside that says it's a reprint, but it's cool. It has like the little catalog um, from the brochures that would come with the original dolls. Ooh. Ooh, wow, the astronaut outfit. Oh, oh. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, wow. Hood, five. Oh, dang. Ooh, look at these nice sissy dolls. How gorgeous, man. Look at her. Come on, Southern Belle. <laughs> How neat. So these are brooches. These are little dolls. Of course, you wear a brooch on you. How adorable. Look at them. They look a little tired, but still fabulous. It's almost like very like Tim Burton almost. Yes, yeah. Yes. We hit the jackpot, y'all. Package Ken clothes, bubble cup Barbie, vintage Skipper, scooter. Oh, Midge. Oh, and package Midge with a uh, mix and match outfit. Ooh. Look, you guys, look at uh, Mr. Chatham Village Bears. I like this octopus right here. They're so edgy, so wicked, but at the same time, very, very cute. Oh, my Jesus. These are so awesome. So guys, this is the Buildily, technically the original Barbie before Barbie. But look, and then there's Barbies behind her in France. Ooh, off, ooh, swimsuit, and then the gay Parisian outfit. Ooh, and back to Buildily. Oh, sorry, forgot to mention, uh, that's a number one, y'all. White irises, swimsuit, and yeah, she's $4,295. Yep. I like, would like her for Christmas, so yeah. Yeah, she, they are um, designers out of New York by the name of Joshua McKinney. Well, she thought Ooh. She, she went to all that trouble. Pigeon. She Pigeon. Pigeon. Cedar. 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 Look at her, guys. Wow. Their, their company, I guess, well, is called I, Pigeon. I More vintage Barbies. These are number threes, which basically went one, two, three. They still got the stand. Oh, she's so beautiful. A bubble cut right here with the holiday dress. Very rare dress. You got a Francy bag. Another number three. Barbie is five hundred. The outfit is three hundred. The little cute little shirt here for one fifty. She's nice. Yeah, that's what's unique about her hands. Little sleepy eyes. Cover girl. Put that bass in your walk. Head to toe. Let your whole body walk. How much is she? She's one ninety five, you guys. And it look vintage Francy. Ooh. So guys, this is Greg Ortiz's dolls. My Jesus, these are freaking gorgeous. Betty Boop. Oh my God. Olive oil, not spinach. Oh my God. Look guys, it's the Cheshire Cat. Ooh, and there's also a little one over there. Ooh, how fun. These very woody, whimsical creatures here. Aw, so cute. Oh, wow. Cake. It's cake time. I want to get your attention. Okay? Gorgeous. Like oh, how beautiful.